We are inside the Orbis uh, third generation, and this is an MD10-30F. So tell me about it. Well, it's, a, uh, it's our third generation of aircraft. We started in 1982 with a DC-8, operated that for around 10 years, picked up a DC-10-10 uh, that we operated from 94 till just earlier this year. And this one picked up, uh, we completed a modification after a couple of years to put the hospital inside and we're ready to go on a trip to China. Well, it started its life as a DC-10 in 1973, but it went through the conversion see up here in the, uh, the front end. It looks like an avionics package, but it's much more. You'll see it's actually has carbon brakes as well, been completely rewired. Uh, it's basically a 777 technology, so it's only 10, 15 years old as far as the technology goes. So, and then uh, the difference as far as the hospital goes in the airplane, the old airplane, the hospital and the airplane were part, were part of each other. In other words, the airplane was modified to accept and change to have a hospital in it. This airplane was changed only to accept the freight that is now the hospital. So instead of having a hospital that has to configure to aircraft standards, we have freight back there that happens to be a hospital. So it's a, it's a new way of doing things. It is ADS-B out. Uh, we are actually in the process of upgrading uh, our TCAS computer, which will increase ADS-B work. But right now it's ADS-B out. Uh, I think you can go on that flight watch. You can watch it there as well. Its tail number is November uh, 330AU or Orbis 1 uh, is our call sign. So if you see us rolling around the world, we're on our next uh, location. For us, what's interesting enough is there's thousands of airports out there that are that are long enough to, and wide enough to support the airplane. But one of the things I've found over a period of time of doing this is it's ramp space. A lot of these countries will have concrete runways, but very, very limited parking space. So it's trying to find a parking space to park something this big and still not affect the local operations at that airport. And then, of course, logistics. Boy, whether it's medical supplies or aircraft parts in some of the countries we go to, that's a, that's a big deal. That's why we carry a great deal of supplies for both the medical side and the airplane on board the aircraft. Another thing that a remote area causes, unlike some of the airlines that may have a this huge infrastructure and they got a presence all over the world, because we fly into a lot of countries that are pretty remote and probably not the places that you'd normally go to on a daily, uh, whether it's by visiting or by normal airlines. Uh, instead of having uh, the pilots themselves will end up both maintenance and, ma and operations actually release themselves. So the pilots have to do the, they do the flight plan and then they release it for the flight plan. Maintenance does all the airworthiness on the airplane. So we're basically self-contained even in the logistics operation side of everything. Pilots are all volunteers out of Federal Express. We have 18 guys that have gone through the Orbis uh, portion of the training program and uh, they're all from FedEx. They all started as current guys. We started this process about three, four years ago on the MD-10. Uh, FedEx has been doing it since 2000. Uh, but in uh, about three years ago, we started on the MD-10 and a couple of them are retired. So we have a couple retired FedEx guys, but the majority are all active employees at FedEx that do this on their, uh, on their own time and uh, the, by the support of FedEx, of course. We're completely self-sustaining. If you were to look outside, you'll see nine pieces of ground equipment. Um, it totals somewhere around 40,000 pounds of equipment we carry on board the plane. We carry two generators. We carry air conditioners. We carry uh, med gas exhaust systems. We carry uh, compressors. And we carry them all in the lower section. And we even burn the fuel. If you look here at uh, this indicator here, you'll see the green indicator. We've got our number two fuel pump is pumping fuel, Jet A, down to our generators on the ground. So we're completely self-sustaining. We don't even need to ask for diesel fuel. Purify our own water, make our own hospital grain oxygen. Uh, we can take water out of any city, whether it's polluted or not. And when the surgeon washes his hands, we've killed every bacteria known to man. So rbis.org, and you can find out all about us. You can find about programs. If you're looking to volunteer, if you're looking to uh, some employment possibities, just in general, about eye health in the world, look us up.